The ground beneath your feet suddenly splinters and a huge force expels you from the world. Go back! If you don't want to stay, then never come back! Don't ruin the beautiful dreams I created for them! You. So, we are going investigation Mess's base. So the physical body of Mess should be still with the MBCC, right? The arrest team did arrive there at the end of the day. So let's go check that out. Mess has escaped from the dream. A chief attempts to investigate Mess's base to gauge any irrelevant information. What happened to the body though? Is this area considered out? Your consciousness gets practically hurled out of the dream, slamming heavily back into your body. You awaken inside an MBCC rescue vehicle parked near Mess's base. Hey! You woke up pretty quickly this time. Seems like knocking your head worked. Chief, do you feel uncomfortable anywhere? I prepared some of Mr. Doyle's hangover drink. I mean, he doesn't have a hangover, so that's kind of awkward. You shake your head to avoid Hecate's miracle drink. You quickly get up to show that you're okay. Maybe because you didn't directly consume too much of ambrosia, or maybe because your ambrosia tolerance improved. Either way, you don't feel as terrible as the last time you were in a dream. This time, uh, the time is 9.57 p.m. on October 3rd. It has barely been three hours since the mission began. Where's Mess? Do you mean that sinner? The arrest team brought her back to the Bureau. Okay, so the physical body is there. I'm sorry, Chief. I made this decision on my own. Sinner Mess is in a highly unstable state. Soon after both of you ingested Ambrosia, she entered a deep sleepwalking state, spewing huge amounts of extremely dangerous spiritual contamination. Compared to S666, the contamination from Sinner Mess is greater in volume, higher in concentration, and overall more aggressive and destructive. It's even more dangerous than herself. It took us a long time to bring the situation under control. All the while the alarms are going off. Because we didn't know when you'd wake up, I decided to take Mess to the Bureau for detainment first, then wait for you to cast your shackles on her when you return. Is Mess's situation even worse than Roleka? Her dream was so empty, yet the negative spiritual energy she discharged was so powerful. What has that girl gone through? Yeah, that makes sense. Her dream was so empty, because like everything in her life has been so fucking awful that she has dispelled pretty much everything in her life the only thing that, that was remaining in her life was a game she probably played when she was a kid that uh, that um what the emp also plays one of my sinners uh the arrow one b class um so she, th that's probably the only good memory she has uh of having the game so that's why this is the only thing in the dream what is the girl going through <laughs> How much of a reality do you know of to make this decision for her? Close your eyes to filter out your pointless distracting thoughts. You aren't, uh, these aren't what you should be thinking about right now. How is she now? She hasn't woken up yet, but she is no longer sleepwalking. Her physiological functions have returned to normal, and the contaminants discharged from her sleepwalking state have also disappeared. She's been transferred to a regular ward for observation. Don't worry, she's just in a deep sleep. Nothing out of the ordinary. You let out a sigh of relief. Though the woman took away Mess's consciousness, at least the girl's sleepwalking phase is over. You're confident, you're confident that she won't get trapped again. I'll be back to the scene to investigate. There are things I need I to confirm. I you'd say that. Go ahead. The scene is the same as it was. We'll wait to hear from you. Hmm. Let's look at the hints. A sword. Must be the legendary sword. Duplicate of the Grand. A duplicate made based on the legendary Grandmaster sword. Perhaps this is how her ideal holy sword would look like. A second hand old portable game console like next to it. Probably given to her by the server at Candy Bar. Hmm. Starry Wish Bottle. Starry Wish a uh, wish bottle filled with lucky stars. I don't think those are stars, but okay. When unfolded, the stars all have transaction location codes written in them. Piece them together, you'll get all the paths of ambrosia distribution among civil areas. Among them is a record of the first time in tra transaction with the server at Candy Bar. 
Among them is a record of the first time transaction with a server of Candy Bar. The server gives Mess a used portable game console which she cherishes. Hmm. Mess's toy, a plastic bottle filled with ambrosia, is found inside. It seems that the night Mess went to Candy Bar when you contacted her, she carried this toy with her as disguise and dealt ambrosia secretly. Huh. I thought they would have to keep it in a glass vial or something, but maybe not. Mess's notes. Notebook, whose pages are filled with forging blueprints, is also records some messages in the form format of a diary. The woman has a magical bottle. She can produce ambrosia with her ability. I should just tie her up and keep her by my side. Uh, she never leaves the Midnight Summer Club when she deals. She doesn't trigger the alarm even when she uses her ability. Is the club proofed? That's so cool. Should I go and work for them? She has produced so much ambrosia. What for? To put the whole city to sleep? Such strong malice would be quite something. I'd love to have a taste. Legend has it that in the past, you could turn into pure malice if you drank ambrosia. How I wish to witness that. Huh. Getting from the diary, Mess, Mess obtained ambrosia from a woman at the Midnight Summer's Club. Midsummer Night's Club. Seems the woman can avoid triggering the surveillance alarm when activating her power to produce ambrosia. Well, then again, uh, the black goo doesn't either. So they need to re register a new form of, uh, what is it called? Strain? New strain of mania. And upgrade the equipment. Mess's Diddy bag? What the fuck is a Diddy? I mean, the malice I got this time is pretty good. I'll take it'll take time to admire it later. I'll take time to admire it later. Gotta stay start moving house now. I couldn't help it. Every time I use my ability to trigger the alarm. There should be a way to obtain malice without triggering the alarm. I've been hearing about something called Ambrosia lately. The bag is stuffed with flyers, news clipping about mess messing up and her scribbled notes. The location match with the sinner. Activity tracks recorded by Doyle. You see the Mess's movement trajectory is consistent with the sinner investigated by Doyle. I need to figure out what Marv is and how is it how is she related to the whole sitch. Product source. We should be able to get that fairly easily. Uh Roger is produced by a sinner using ability. I'm gonna guess that one. Transaction location is obviously always at the midnight club. And uh, product transportation. This thing. Oh, this one's incorrect. Well, there's also record in that, so I'll guess with. Nope. This one. Yep. I'm not too worried about reading them. They'll go down, down, down. Where is it? Inspector. Yeah, there is information on Bromshears distribution, production distribution you have produced. Someone is secretly producing a project in the Midnight Summer Club, Midsummer Nights Club, then distributes it through mess, delivering it to various sales points in civil areas. Basically a drug. You've already searched the entire room. You have learned everything you need to know. There are huge claw marks tearing apart the wall and the floor near where you and mess ingested ambrosia. This is the black goo that mess spat out. It's what the city dragon draco should actually look like you still know nothing about her battles and experiences in real life you only know that mess chose to come back herself i heard that you woke up sir oh he said sir instead of chief very interesting but quick timing mr doyle has already discovered the truth he's really quite sharp it took him no time at all to see through our little plan he threw a huge tantrum and demands to settle accounts with you. That would be hilarious, actually. Can you help me out with this or maybe transfer him <laughs> away? No need. Inspector Doyle is highly productive. We acquired a lot of interesting information about Quinn from him. It's been a long time since I've seen him so motivated. I think the inspector regained his passion thanks to you. One of the things I gotta say, I, as I said uh, like a couple episodes ago, I have no clue what the Ninth Agency does in the this you know bad to nowhere world. You're surprised to hear this, but you also feel comforted. If Doyle can get his life back together, it's great news. As long as he is well protected, he can lend you the wisdom of an incredible inspector. Guess we have to keep, we have to seek help from the incredible inspector. 
Decisive battle is coming soon. It's not something that can be settled by just dealing with a sinner kid. Please update him with the latest intel. I still need to rely on his wisdom. You update the ninth agency on Mess's investigation results and start writing an email to Doyle.